Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a Scotch Sour. Now, this does follow a standard or traditional sort of uh, sour template, meaning it contains spirits, citrus, and sugar, and you actually combine those to come up with something really, really good and very well balanced. Having said that, we're using scotch. Now this will give you a little bit of a malty earthiness that you wouldn't normally see with a bourbon and it's a little bit of spicy sweetness, or even a Canadian rye, which would give you that gentle spicy kick that just, it's gonna give you a different cocktail with slightly different flavors. But if you're looking to up your peatiness and your smokiness, I would suggest something more like a penicillin because you want those flavors to come through all the way, whereas a Scotch Sour will have slightly more muted flavors, but it'll be balanced differently. Now, this is a shaken cocktail, so grab yourself a shaking glass. And we are going to start this with a knife because who doesn't need a good knife? And then what you're gonna do is grab yourself a lemon, give it a bit of a roll, We'll cut this in half, measure out three quarters of an ounce, and pour that into the glass. Your second ingredient is going to be a simple syrup. Now, simple syrup is just one part water, one part sugar. Heat it up till it goes literally clear as water, and you're good to go. Now, we are going to use half an ounce or 15 milliliters. And for your third ingredient, I'd recommend scotch. In fact, I recommend a blended scotch versus a single malt. Um, now I'm using monkey shoulder. You can use whatever you happen to have. This is actually a blend of three Speyside whiskeys, two ounces or 60 milliliters. Our next ingredient is some bitters. And for this, we're going to use some Angostura bitters. Um, a lot of people will just put some bitters on top to accentuate it. However, we're going to add the bitters directly to this, and for that, we need a total of two dashes. Once you've added your bitters, your next ingredient is egg white. Now, it's my preference to use egg white to give me a silky mouthfeel and give us that foam that we really love so much in sours. However, there is a vegan alternative. You could use garbanzo bean juice or chickpea juice or even get a magic foaming bitters. However, what we're going to do is grab yourself a large egg. We'll just crack that in half, put the glass back, don't know why I took it off, and we'll just drop the whites in. Okay, so what you wanna do is just obviously put the remainder of this directly into a glass. You can save it for later, make yourself some brioche buns or something like that. Now what we are going to do is we are going to dry shake this first. And uh, we're gonna shake this hard for a good 10 seconds. This will emulsify the egg. You just have to make sure that you get a really good seal. And I sometimes find that when I do this, I get a little bit of spray that happens. So a good technique, just wrap it with a bit of a cloth, that way you don't get any egg spray because it always seems to make its way out. All right, and what you wanna do there is, you know, make sure you pop that off with the strength of a thousand somethings, um, egg pieces. And of course, I still got a little spray out. Now what we're going to do is put some ice in here to fill this up. You don't need a lot. So this will just break the uh, membranes down even more and give us a nice tighter foam. It also gives us a little bit of that dilution that we want. Quick hint, wipe the edge of your glass, seat that back on and give it a shake again. Have a heart attack when you're done. <laughs> Separate that with the strength of a thousand lemons. And then grab yourself a rocks glass. Now I'm going to serve this in a double rocks glass, meaning it's 12 ounces, 360 mils. And we'll put some fresh ice in here just to fill the glass up. And then we will fine strain it to keep out any small chunks of ice. And if there happens to be the film from the egg white. All right, this is gonna take just a little bit to separate nicely. The color so far is absolutely gorgeous. We're not gonna get a super thick head with this, but it's gonna be beautiful. Now to garnish this, what we're gonna do is grab ourselves an orange. So we'll cut ourselves a swath, then trim the orange peel, give it a twist and place it on top. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that is. <laughs> 
mm, you get that earthiness that I spoke of. The scotch is there, it's blended with the uh, lemon and the bitters, and it holds beautifully. If you like a nice earthy cocktail that's gorgeous to look at, take a look after the recipe card right here.